Yeah, it's just an old saw. <laughs> it doesn't roll real, real, you know. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. I'm going to tell y'all and show y'all the right way to change a pinion seal on uh, a vehicle. You know, the rear end, the differential, you know, whatever. I'm going to uh, show y'all and tell y'all how to do this the right way. Because I've watched about 20 videos, and some are from Ford mechanics that work at dealerships. And uh, here's something they're missing. They're not explaining to y'all uh, how that that's absolutely done to get accuracy and for the for your rear end, your differential to actually last, to actually last. All right, all right. First off, I'm going to show y'all something to pull a seal out of a pinion, you know, you got the pinion shaft sticking out there, you know, after you take off the flange. Buy one of these people. Look, I bought this at O'Reilly three days ago for fourteen dollars and some change. And with tax came up to like uh nearly sixteen dollars. This is the way to go, people. This is the way to go. These will get that down seal because you just hook this in, rank your arm and go, Ugh! and it pulls those down seals out. Don't take the screwdriver and tap around the edge. Just don't do that shit. Right here, people. Right here. I'm gonna be nice. I'm gonna even measure this for y'all. You know, the length you want. This one is, uh, it's very sturdy. I thought for $14 and some change, it would be a wimpy, you know, piece of junk. Oh, no, this thing is very strong. Let's see what this measures out to. Let me see. Twelve and a half inches. Twelve and a half inches. Twelve and a half inches long. So I write that down. Twelve and a half inches long. Just right here. And the edge that I use is, is this more pointed, smaller one here. The center part is to rest it up, you know, like up against your pinion shaft part. So you can rest it on there. Or you can, the way I did it, I went under the pinion shaft and then on top of the pinion shaft and just hooked it in there. And gave it some muscle and out it came, man. Out it came. Now that's what you want to do. Okay, let's set that down. Set my tape measure back. I always like to keep my tools and parts, you know, organized or whatever. All right, now, okay, a ye old pinion flange and seal. Okay, here's what the seals look like right here. This baby right here. Okay, you should, like on the, uh, Let's see where here we are on the part that's on the inner part. That's the one that has the spring on it. Put some uh, grease in there. It'll help secure those uh, springs that wrap around on the inner part from trying to fly out when you start in installing your flange. It's a preventive measure, and be sure before you install the flange. Take oil and rub in here. Rub oil in here. Because you don't want to push the flange in there with this being dry. Because it's only going to uh, push the rubber in. You don't want to do that. Also, you want to, on these flanges, the part, see right here where the seal rides this part right here. See, here's how it's going to go when you get it on your vehicle. Here's the outer part. 
the outer part of the cell, see, right here, yeah, okay, we're going to push it on there, yeah, rubber's pretty tight, there you go, see how I pushed that on there, see that rides on this shiny part right here, it rides on it, well, I'll tell you, that still is tied on there. Look. Actually, the best seal that you can buy, go to an AutoZone store and buy the Duralast seal. Because they're easier to install. These are hard to hammer in. You know? If you use the Duralast, they're a lot easier. A lot easier, man. You know, but you can use a hammer to tap it around, to tap it in. It's not going to hurt anything, you know, uh, and once you get in, just make sure it's completely flush, you know, and in the rear end. Okay, now, on these flange nuts, let me explain something to it. Uh, the videos, everybody puts blue Loctite, some put red Loctite on those threads. People, you don't need to do that. That's bullshit. Look, the uh, new nut, you see this orange stuff on the back of this nut? This is a flat, uh, true machine surface on the back. It's also got it inside where the threads are. Okay, so that means when you install this, that's what holds it into place in the back of this flange. Look, see this piece of metal is flat right here. Alright, when this goes against it, that is not going to come loose, people. If you're going back with the same nut, just take some uh, black RV silicone and rub on the back of your nut, on the back of your nut. And then on the threads, the inner part of the pinion threads, not the outer part, but the inner part. Just rub some RV silicone on that and uh, tighten it down. It's going to work. It's going to work, man. You're going to be okay there. All right, now, on these flanges, here's something they never, ever, ever show people. Okay, they'll show it to where that they say, check your backlash like this, like this, like this, like this. Okay, no. Do that. Make that the very last thing you do. When you're tightening this back on there, okay, just get it started on there with a hammer on those lines until enough uh, threads are exposed so you can get your nut on there. So you can get your nut on there and get it started. And just turn that nut, um, you know, one full turn. And then uh, hammer this back, but be gentle. Hit it here, hit it here, hit it here, hit it here. Okay. Then after that, get it on there the best you can. All right, start tightening your nut. Okay, this nut, that is a 27 millimeter, 27 millimeter. And you can use the 12 point socket like I did, or uh, the hex socket. See, this is, has six sides. That's called a hex, meaning for hexagon, okay? Now, on these flanges, turn that nut in, and as you're installing it, look. Here's me. Let's do it like this. All right, like uh, when you're installing this, okay, okay, L let me get it to where it starts. Let me get this to where it starts, okay. See, when you're installing this on your car, and you got the nut on there, and you're driving it on there, pull it back and forth, back and forth. Don't worry about this shit right, right there. That, that's what they're calling your backlash. You know, that's the teeth on your pinion against your ring gear inside your differential. Focus on this. Look. Back and forth. Back 
and forth. Back and forth. All right, tighten that nut until you cannot pull this back and forth in. You can't pull it back and forth in. After that, tighten this nut only, only a half tone, not over a half tone, but about a half tone. That's it, that's it. See, that gets it, uh, the nut to where against this flat machine car, okay, it's in place. And it's not going to turn loose because, see, you're dealing with a very fine, fine machine thread on the nut and the uh, pinion shaft threads, you see? And make sure you put all on that, you know, before you get, push it on there on the seal. Also, your splines, put some oil on those splines, man. Put some oil on the splines. Why not, man? It makes things work easy. Okay? Okay, that's uh, the best I can explain it. And then after that, when you do the rock and forth lift, they call it, it should go clank, 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 up at the top. Oh, uh, let me see. How many inches? It should be about, should go back and forth about this much. That is normal. Well, here, let me show y'all on a tape measure, man. And I can determine, I've done so many of these, and they've all been successful. Let's see, about, how, about like this, which, um, okay, about a half inch, about a half inch. Uh, or even up to a full inch, about an inch actually, yeah, about an inch. Like from here, uh, let me see. Like from here to here, that would be about the right amount of clank, 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 clank. Or it could even be less than that, as long as you can move it. Clank, 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 clank. Okay, there you go. And then turn it to make sure there's no roughness in it already. Now, if you turn the nut uh, a half turn, no more, but a half turn after the in and out play disappeared, it's going to be right. It's going to be right. You don't need a uh, torque wrench. You don't need a torque wrench. Or where they put one on, say, well, the preload has to be 20. Between 20 and 30, that's a bunch of bullshit. That's a bunch of bullshit. Because once you get rid of the in and out play, when you're pulling it back and forth, all you need is for that nut to be snug on there. That's all you need. Okay? That's all you need. And that nut's secure. Okay? And then one of your wheels that's on your car, spin it around. Spin it around. Spin it around. Okay, next thing you need to do, take out your filler plug. Fill that differential back up. Most of them are going to have to have about one quart of oil. Okay, the 7.75 and the 8.8, four differentials, they hold two and a half quarts. It's going to take about a quart to fill them back up. So, uh, and fill them up all the way to the all plug filler hole until they start running out. But do it slow so it'll have time to fill up your axle tubes. Your axle tubes reach from your third member all the way to where your um, wheels bolt onto the lug nuts. So, and you gotta, that has to fill halfway up. So see, it takes a little bit of time. So uh, fill it up slowly. Squirt in about a quarter of a quart. Wait about a minute. Squirt another quarter of a quart. Wait about a minute. And then three-fourths of a quart. 
white about a minute, and then the rest of it until it runs out of the pillow. And then you got it. Then you got it. That is how it's done. Now, if you listen to exactly what I've told you and what I have illustrated with these three parts I showed you and this beautiful tool, and I'll tell you the truth, this cell phone, even though I've got, oh God, how many years of experience? 50, 54 years experience. <coughs> My family owned half of a wrecking yard when I was born. I was out there before I even started the first grade. And I'm half owner of a repair shop uh, close to me in my area here in Houston, Texas. So people, I know what I'm talking about, okay? And, uh, but here's something. I bought my first three days ago. And I uh, always thought, oh, those damn things are for novice people. No, they're not. They work, man. They work. They work. Buy one of these. Even if you don't need it right now. Because you figure this, with tax, only coming up to 16, you better get them. Because more mechanics figure this out. These things are going to double and triple in price. These things are good. They're good. But anyway, uh, remember, Jesus Christ is the answer. That's the only one, people. Love. Do each other right. Anyway, later, later.